Uh, karibu tena kwenye kipindi kilichopita tuko naangalia kuhusu water na properties of water and in this period we are going to look about the other biological importance functions of water kwa hiyo usahau kusubscribe na kushare hii link ya channel hii pamoja na hii video ili wenzako waweze kuendelea kuifunza tutaendelea kurusha vipindi vya physics advanced mathematics bam pamoja na vipindi vya masomo haya yote kwa o level now let's continue to all living organism tuanze na organism wote kwanza water ina aid kwenye structure water contribute to 70 to 80% of cell content kama ambavyo tume discuss kwenye kwenye lecture iliyopita lakini pia baadhi ya baadhi ya literatures baadhi ya vitabu vinasema kwamba ina contribute greater than 90% kwa hiyo anyway lakini this is according to bs Uh, ya pili ni kwamba solvent and medium for diffusion such as in respiratory surfaces are moisted to facilitate diffusion of molecule of gases kwa hiyo hiyo ni ni function ya pili to all organism lakini ya tatu reagent katika hydrolysis reaction hydrolysis reaction kama tulivyosoma kule mwanzoni zinahitaji addition of water so water inact kama reagent kwenye all hydrolysis reactions lakini ya nne support for aquatic organisms aquatic organisms such as crocodiles cannot hunt on land but it is powerful in water so crocodile inavyokuwa powerful in water manake imekuwa supported na water huyo ni mamba uh, pia property ya tano enable fertilization by transporting flagellated gametes hiyo tunaenda kuona kwenye bryophytes e, fertilization ni bryophytes kama moss plant ememia midogo kama moss plant pamoja na phytophytes kama feni plant zinahitaji water in their fertilization and without water haziwezi ku fertilize so we shall go to see it in reproduction and other topics such as classification property sita dispersal of seeds such as coconut also gametes larva of aquatic organisms kwa hiyo seeds za mimea kama coconut ambayo ni nazi uh, na pia gametes na lava wa aquatic organisms e, zinakuwa dispersed kwa kutumia water lakini kwa plant kwa plant tukidini na plant kwanza water inatumika kwenye osmosis and turbidity osmosis e, osmosis ni kama movement ya particles za water kutoka kwenye region of low salt concentration to the region of high salt concentration na targeted ni kama vile cell kuwa na pressure flan to become target tukisema cell may become target maana yake inakuwa kama ina pressure flan au ina mkazo flan ina tension flan lakini ile tension imetokana na water kuja so water kuja kwenye cell kunaweza kusababisha tension flan ni kama vile mtu anaweza kukanywa maji tumbo likajaa kwa kuta kama tumbo limejikaza so ile tension ambayo hata cell ikijaa maji inatengeneza tension kama ile pale ile pande tunaita targeted tena kudiscuss sana kwenye topic ya transport kwa endelea kukaa nami kwenye topic ya transport ta discuss sana now targeted lead to the growth of the cell that is cell enlargement tena kuona pia kwenye topic ya growth kwamba plant cells zinavyotaka zikue zinajaa maji kwa ile targeted ndio inayosababisha the cell expansion or cell enlargement also lead to the opening of stomata hizo zote tunaenda kuona kwenye topic ya transport uh, pia water is the reagent in photosynthesis hiyo tumesha discuss kwenye topic ya nutrition kama ni mfuatiliaji we have already discussed it in nutrition lakini pia transpiration and gutation hiyo tunaenda kuiona kwenye transport transpiration ni loss of water as vapor during day but gutation normally occur during night and this is the loss of water by the way of droplets cause na cause inatoka water droplets na ndio maana ukiamka asubuhi unaweza kukuta kwenye majani kama mle pembeni mna water droplets ule sio tu kwa sababu ya umande but also because of gutation so we shall discuss it later in detail when we we'll be discussing in transport also number four, ni translocation of inorganic and organic compounds uh, influx of water katika sieve tube hiyo katika transport katika topic ya transport tunapokuwa tunaingiza maji kwenye sieve tube yani kwenye xylem kwa sababu sieve tube ni 
component of xylem tunapokuwa naingiza maji kwenye sieve tube uh, manake inaingia in the form of solution na pia translocation uh, water pia hapo inakwenda tumika katika ku translocate inorganic ions kutoka kwenye roots kwenda kwenye leaves for for the thinnest and for thinnest of different materials such as chlorophyll uh, pia tuna germination yani kuota kwa mbegu kuna hitaji seed kuna hitaji water now swelling and breaking opening of testa and further development of seed require water as we should discuss later in the topic of growth in detail what is the function of water during seed germination pia in animals water is used for transportation such as in blood lymphatic system and the excretory system uh, kwa mfano unavyoona vile mkojo ni yule ambayo imekuwa dissolved in water and excess salts so you lay and the excess salts they are translocated in uh, they are transported in the urinary system in dissolved form pia kwenye osmoregulation kama tutakavyoenda kuona kwenye homeostasis uh, osmoregulation in control au kuregulate temperature as heat is lost through radiation and evaporation during hot condition uh hii hapa ni hii hapa imezungumziwa ni control ya temperature lakini osmoregulation manake ni control ya ni control ya osmosis kama tutakavyoenda kuona kwenye homeostasis lakini yote kwa yote manake water is used in regulation au in homeostasis katika osmoregulation na pia katika temperature lakini namba tatu ni lubrication ambayo hiyo ni kwenye synovial fluid synovial fluid ambayo iko kwenye joints hiyo inatumika kwenye kwenye lubrication ku prevent friction in joints uh, number nne support such as hydrostatic skeleton in annelids annelids worms kwa hiyo minyoo yenyewe haina skeleton nyingine zaidi ya hydroskeleton na hydroskeleton maana yake imekuwa media of water uh, number tano ni maintain structure of some some organs such as the eyeball eh jicho hili linavoliona lina high amount of water is maintained by vitremas hama a eh, vitremas hama which is eight eight seshas water so i think this is 80% not 80 seshas water this is 80% water kwa vitremas hama ni asimia semanini water lakini pia protection kwa mfano machos na mucus tears and mucus also amniotic fluid kwenye 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 mimba kwenye pregnancy wakati mtoto anapokuwa kwenye fetus uh, amniotic fluid na protect pia kwenye healing and balance such as endolymph and perilymph endolymph and perilymph we shall go to discuss them in coordination uh, pia kwenye migration in ocean current uh, most of the aquatic animals they migrate in ocean currents pia kwenye digestion such as in saliva 90% is water 90% is water so in this video let me end up here and in the next video uh, we shall discuss about the identification of biochemical molecules identification of biochemical molecules how do you identify starch how do you identify reducing sugar how do you identify non reducing sugar and this will be approaching to the end of the topic after discussion of the identification of biochemical molecule we shall discuss about it, ATP thank you everybody let me wish you nice studies don't forget to subscribe the channel and to share the video to your fellow students so as to continue with these periods also if you have any suggestion uh, you may you may simply comment in this video or you may get my number from my telegram group found in the link below in the description and then we may communicate further for your need or for your question thank you everybody nice studies